You want things to last forever, but things do not last forever. You want to know that if you put in the time and the effort today to learn something new, to try something new, investing in your business, you want to know that, you know, you're going to do the work today and it's going to work. It's going to pay off forever. It's going to work for six months, it's going to work for nine months, it's going to work for the next few years. Because you say, you know, like, what's the point of working on something if it's not going to work for a really long time, right? This kind of thinking holds you up. It keeps you from trying new things. It keeps you from investing because you want to know that if you're going to work your off today, this is something that better pay off forever. And honestly, that's not how things work. Things work today and then they stop working. Things work a little bit and then you have to continue to work at them. You cannot get by working a little bit today, hoping it will last forever. And this drives people crazy. This drives me crazy. It probably drives you crazy. It holds us all up too, because we want to kind of set it and forget it. We kind of want to invest in a new thing right now. And then we want to know that I won't have to think about it in six months or nine months or fix, fix it or keep working at it. You want to stair step your way up. And so the thought of, of attacking something or doing something today and having it work for a really short amount of time and then stop working bothers us. Like that keeps me from doing so much. What is the point, I ask myself, of putting in all of this time and all of this effort to build all of this momentum just to know in six months or nine months or a year it's gonna stop working? What is the point? But this is progress. The point is not to do something once and then never have to do it again. The point is not to try and find something that works and will work forever. Nothing works forever. I see this the most in marketing. You know, I'm a strategist. Uh, I, I own an agency and we help entrepreneurs grow and scale their businesses by growing scale sales and generating more leads. And it pisses people off to know that they ha we have to continually work at something or we find something that's working and it six months later, nine months later, it stops working and they're mad and they're all like, why? Why did it stop working? It's like, well, competition changes and market changes and the tactic that was working wasn't working. Like our job is to continually find what's working in the moment and maximize it, take the, make the most of it. And that's your job too. In your business, in life, you think I'm gonna work on this this quarter and then thank goodness I don't have to think about it for two or three years. But as I mentioned, that's just not how it works. You know, something that kept me from getting fit was just the thought of, if I'm gonna get fit and work out, I'm gonna have to work out forever. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it. And if I have to work out forever, then what's the point? If I'm gonna eat really carefully, and I know that I can eat really carefully and get fit and lose a lot of weight, as soon as I go back, I'm gonna gain all the way back. So what's the point? If I go to that conference, I'm gonna get super excited at the conference. I'm gonna learn a whole bunch of new things. But then when I come back two or three weeks later, or a month later, two months later, it's gonna wear off. So what's the point of going to the conference? If I read a new book, I am gonna love reading that book, but I'm gonna forget everything, right? Like book after book after book, I'm, I'm just gonna forget everything and I'm not gonna implement anything really. So what is the point of reading the book? This is the thought process that talks you and it talks me out of ever doing anything, right? The whole, if, it's, if, if I'm gonna put in the effort and it's not gonna have a lasting effect, what's the point is the thing that actually robs you of progress. It actually keeps you from getting better. It actually keeps you from building the skill set and getting to where you want to be. And I was reminded of this because I had Jacob Green on my new podcast that I'm working on called We Do Hard Things. Um, it's not out yet, but I'm interviewing all of these really impressive people. And um, I'm asking them all about working through traumatic times, working through hard things, overcoming doubt, overcoming fear. And you know, he was talking about people's whys. He was talking about how you have to have a really strong why so you know exactly where you're going and what you're doing. And he was talking about corporate whys. And I was like, corporate whys? You know, like, I, I understand that they're important. Cool, you get a bunch of people in a room, you get them all jazzed up about the purpose and the why, the collective why, and then they go back to work. But the question I had for him is, 
how effective is it really? You know, cool. So you get people all jazzed up about something, but three months, six months, nine months, a year later, they're not that excited about it. I said, what's the point of bringing everyone together and getting everyone excited about something if it doesn't have a lasting effect? Which is really what I'm saying about fitness, right? Why work out if you got to work out forever, right? There's no lasting effect. Why eat carefully if as soon as you stop eating, uh, you go back? There's no lasting effect. Why go to the conference? Why read the book? Why do any of those things? Why invest in your team? Why do one-on-ones? You know, why hire someone new if you know in three years they're going to leave? There's no lasting effect. That that was something that unlocked in me because I said, why do all of this stuff if there's no long-term efficacy for it and there's no lasting effect? And he was like, that's a good question, Mark. But if it only works for three months, if it only works for six months, isn't that better than nothing? Working for three months, six months, or nine months is still it working. And I was like, oh man, I have a limiting self-belief here. I have a story I tell myself. This, this is something I need to address. This is something I need to think about. This is something I need to fix. Because I don't like to invest my time or my energy into things if I don't think it will have a lasting effect. But working is still working. And if I think about my fitness, you know, I've lost 50 pounds in the last two years. I was never fit. I never worked out. If I think about that journey and I just say I've lost 50 pounds in two years, people think I went from here to here. But in fact, what it was was a whole bunch of tiny little moments for whatever was working and then stopped working. And then I found the next thing and it worked. And then it stopped working. And then I found the next thing and it worked. And then it stopped working. And so when someone asks me about how I lost weight, I have to mentally break it up into, well, it was the first two or three months and then it stopped working. And then there was that summertime thing. And then I, and then I, you know, I went to Tony Robbins in November and then I, and then I started working out of the, the office and I bought the spin bike and then I started going to Orange Theory and then I got it onto keto. And like, like it's actually a whole series of things that only worked for two or three months and then stopped working. And I don't know why this is so revolutionary to me because in marketing, we do this all the time. The things that are working today will not be working in three months or six months or nine months. We're constantly chasing and looking for the thing that's working in the moment. So if this is you, if you think what's the point of putting in this time and effort, if it's not going to last, if it's not going to work for the long term, you are actually missing out because progress isn't made by spending two or three months deep diving into something and then never touching it again. Progress is made by doing what works for you now, making the tiny little steps forward, the inches forward, the progress, the tiny little thing, and then reassessing as soon as something stops working and finding the next thing that works. And so when I went to Tony Robbins' conference, Unleash the Power Within with Evan in uh, November of whenever that was, 18 maybe, um, it was awesome and it had a life-changing effect on me but three or four months later i was kind of backsliding and i didn't even notice it until i went in july the following year <laughs> i went within a six month seven month period i went to the conference twice i went with evan evan took me and then i took louis because i was like louis man you got to experience this and i got there and i was like oh my goodness how did i forget all this stuff how did i forget how important emotion is, how important feeling is. How did I forget all of these things that, that I learned when I was at the conference the first time? And it bothered me. It made me angry with myself for learning it and knowing it and then forgetting it. And then I realized, ah, maybe it's not that I'm going to go to a conference once and that I'm going to learn it, I'm going to implement it. Maybe it's not that I'm going to go to a conference twice or three times. Maybe. It's in fact that I need to always be going to these types of environments, meeting these types of people. Maybe it's not that I'm going to read a book and implement everything and remember everything or hold myself to a standard where I am going to remember everything. Maybe it's the fact that I'm always going to be reading. Maybe it's not having that one conversation or that one one-on-one -on -one or that one hire. Maybe it's not learning that new skill for yourself or trying that new thing or launching a business or a new marketing campaign. The answer is in fact what works for a short time still works. And so you need to always be doing these things. 
I'm sorry, it's not going to end. You're never going to be able to set and forget it. What works for you today will not work in the future, but that's okay. It's okay. Because for me, what I've learned is that it's not about listening to the podcast and then implementing it. It's consuming all of the podcasts. I love it. My wife, Jacqueline, for her, it's not about the one performance. Performance is her thing. Performing for people, hospitality, welcoming people, creating an environment, taking people on a journey, having experience. It's performance for her. So it's not the one performance. It's performing every single day in some way. For me, it's not learning or consuming content or trying to help people. It's doing that every single day. And so I'll leave you with this. I remember hearing this story. I don't know if it's true or not. But somebody was talking about why going to church doesn't make sense. And they were saying, listen, you know, you go to church every single week, every single week, you hear a different thing, a different thing, but you're not implementing all of it. It doesn't make sense. There's no way that if you listen, if you go to church every single Sunday for 10 years, you're going to remember all of that stuff. What's the point? That's the type of thinking that I used to have. And then according to the story, this man wrote in and said, you know, I've been married for 30 years. And in those 30 years, I've had amazing conversations with my wife over dinner, and we've eaten lots of great meals. I don't remember every single conversation. I don't remember every single meal. But I do know that at the time, it nourished me. I do know at the time, it fed me. And it gave me what I needed to keep going. And so... That story stuck with me because I've, I've, I've I heard it maybe 15 or 20 years ago. But it's not about doing it once. It's not about remembering every single thing. It's not about beating yourself up for not implementing it. And it's not about not doing something because you think it's going to stop working. It's about always working forward, always feeding your soul, always implementing things and trying and taking advantage of what's working today, knowing that it will not work in the future, and that's okay. And I have to thank Jacob Green for reminding me of that. If you like this message, be sure to also watch this video right here. I think you're gonna like it a lot, and I will see you there.